The sum of the interior angles of a regular polygon is 1,620 degrees. And we need to determine the following. For letter A, we are asked to find the number of diagonals of the polygon. But we don't have the value of N. Therefore, we need to find for the number of sides first before solving for letter A. Now, since 1,620 degrees is the sum of the interior angles, the formula that we need to use now is the formula for the sum of the interior angles. That is, 1,620, which is the sum, is equal to N minus 2 times 180 degrees. The next step is to solve for N. By dividing both sides by 180 degrees, this will be removed and 1,620 divided by 180 degrees is equal to what? Yes, that is equal to 9. And this is N minus 2. Now, transposing negative 2 on the other side will give you 9 plus 2 equals N. So, N now is 11. Meaning, the polygon has 11 sides. With this, we can now solve for the number of diagonals. D is equal to what? Yes, n over 2 times n minus 3. Since n is 11, we can now solve for the value of D. 11 minus 3 is 8 times 11 over 2, and that is the value of d. 8 divided by 2 is 4, 4 times 11 is 44. So d for letter A is equal to 44. How about the central angle? The measure for each central angle is theta sub c equals 360 degrees divided by n. This is the easiest. Why? Because we just need to divide 360 degrees by 11, which is equal to what? Correct. That's equal to 32.73 degrees. Make sure to write the degree symbol. For letter C, we need to find the perimeter of the polygon if S or the side is 6 meters. P is equal to S times N. Since S is 6 and N is 11, the perimeter now is 66 meters. For letter D, we need to find the area of the polygon. What formula can we use for the problem? We can actually use area equals one half perimeter times the apothem if we know the value of the apothem. But since the value of the apothem is missing, we can use the other formula. And what's that formula? Yes, the area the area is equal to S squared times N divided by 4 tangent 180 degrees divided by N. S is equal to 6 meters. N is equal to 11 over 4 tangent 180 degrees divided by 11. By using your calculator in degree mode, what is the area? Correct. The area is equal to 337.16 meter squared.
in letter E, we need to find the length of the apothem. Here, we can use the formula A equals one half times the perimeter times the A. Why? Because we have the value of the area and the perimeter. The area a while ago is 337.16. That is equal to one half times the perimeter, which is 66 meters, times the apothem. Now, all we need to do is to multiply this by 2 and divide it by 66. Using your calculator, the value of A is equal to 10.22 meters. We have an alternative solution for this problem. You can actually use the formula for the apothem. A equals what? Yes, S over 2 tangent 180 degrees over N. S is 6 divided by 2 tangent 180 degrees over 11. And this will also give you 10.22 meters. In number 2, we need to determine the perimeter of a regular polygon whose one side measures 4.25 feet and each central angle is 20 degrees. What is the formula for each central angle? Because we have 20 degrees as given. So, theta sub c is just equal to 360 degrees over n. Theta sub c is 20 degrees. Equals 360 degrees divided by n. But why do we need to solve for n? Because we can't solve the perimeter of the regular polygon if we don't know the value of n. By cross multiplication, you can interchange these two values. So that n is just equal to 360 degrees divided by 20 degrees. 360 divided by 20 will give you 18. And we can now solve for the perimeter of the regular polygon because perimeter is just equal to S times N. S is given, which is 4.25 times 18, which is the N for the regular polygon. So the perimeter is just equal to 76.5. In number 3, we need to give the name of a regular polygon with 104 diagonals. So all we need to do to name the polygon is to know the number of its sides. But the diagonals are the only given. But we all know that T is equal to N over 2 times N minus 3. So therefore, we can use this formula to solve for the value of N. Multiplying 2 to 104 will give you 208 equals n times n minus 3. Continuing, we have 208 equals n squared minus 3n. That is by distributing n. To n minus 3. By transposing 208 on the other side of the equation, we now have a quadratic equation, which is 0 equals n squared minus 3n minus 208. 
using your calculator, you can solve for the missing value of n. Gamitin yung shift solve. You can actually search it in YouTube. But in case you don't know the shortcut in the calculator, you can use the quadratic formula. To solve for n, all you need to do is to use the formula negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. By using this formula, you would know that n is equal to 16. How? In the equation n squared minus 3n minus 208, a is just equal to 1, the coefficient of this. b is equal to negative 3, the coefficient of the second term. And c is just equal to negative 208. So all you need to do is to substitute these values in the quadratic formula. The corresponding sides of two similar triangles are in the ratio 5 is to 8. What is the ratio of their areas? So we have two similar triangles. And the ratio of their sides is 5 is to 8. But in the discussion, we know that if you have the ratio of the corresponding sides of two similar triangles, the square of its ratio is just equal to the ratio of the two areas. So all you need to do is to substitute 5 here and 8 on y. Now, we have 5 over 8 squared, which is equal to a sub 1 over a sub 2. Squaring both sides, we have 25 over 64. Tapos na. This is the ratio of the two areas of the two similar triangles. The areas of two similar polygons are 81 squared units and 144 squared units respectively. If a side of the larger polygon is 36 units, find the corresponding side of the smaller polygon. How do we solve for such here? Simple lang. We can again use the ratio and proportion formula, which is what? x over y squared is just equal to a sub 1 over a sub 4. Now, if a sub 1 is 81 squared units and a sub 2, oops, this is a sub 2, a sub 2 is 144 squared units. What is now the value of, of x and y? Since 144 is larger than 100, rather 81, then 36 units should correspond 144. So the missing value now is x. How do we solve for x? x over 36 squared is just equal to 81 over 144. Squaring both sides will give you what? 36 squared. 81 over 144 can be simplified. How do you simplify it? You, you just enter the values on your calculator. Let's press equal and it will give you 9 over 16. But if you did not do that, it's okay. You can actually use right away 81 and 144. So here, I just need to cross multiply the values. 
So it will give me x squared x squared equals 36 squared times 9 over 16. And that would give me x equals 27. Oh, kung di nyo naintindihan, pwede naman na hindi nyo na gamitin yung ginawa ko na pag-simplify sa 81 at 144. So, all you need to do is to what? Cross-multiply again, 36 squared. Lagyan nyo lang dyan. Multiply nyo lang. Cross-multiply nyo lang. Remember, this is 36 squared, not 362, ha? So, it will become what? X squared equals 36 squared times 81 over 144. Using your calculator, X will just be equal to what? 27. But Y, get the square root of both sides of the equation. So, x squared, square root of x squared is x, and on your calculator, this is 27.